Hello everybody, this is Stefan Lander for, from Sequality. Uh, this time we want to show you a new um, software that we have ported to the microcontroller here. As you know, last time we showed you the, this uh, bottling demo that we also have on desktop systems. And uh, this time we want, we want to show you this application that we had already running on embedded Linux or Linux or Windows desktop systems. It was implemented with the normal, with the normal Qt framework and you, we wanted to port it on the microcontroller. So to do that, uh, we said to ourselves, okay, it's just feasible to use Qt for microcontroller because uh, with embedded wizard or touch GFX, we would have to re-implement the whole application from scratch. And with Qt for microcontroller, we were able to reuse uh, a large part of the code. So let's have a look at the solution. It is here. So as you can see, it looks uh, basically the same as uh, on the desktop system. It's a ported application. It shows you uh, speed and uh, the RPM. You can also interact with the solution with your finger here. And it shows you that you have smooth interaction and animations here. Um, it's, yeah, it looks quite, quite good. And yeah. Um, in order to port this application here to the microcontroller, uh, we had to do a few adaptions. There, were, there are no opacity masks and there um, is no 3D map graphics in this solution. But apart from that, we could reuse about 80% of the code base of the original Qt software, so quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so um, this time we said, okay, we also want to uh, make an additional um, effort to connect to a CAN interface that you can see here. So it goes to the back of the microcontroller and what it does, it sends the CAN values of speed and RPM whenever it change, it sends it over the canvas and to this uh, other computer. So as you can see here, those are the current CAN values. If I change the speed now very fast, like that, so like that, then the speed changes uh, a lot on the canvas value as well. So uh, very good performance and uh, was, um, yeah, behaves like expected. So we had to implement a small C++ wrapper in Qt for microcontroller for the canvas and we use this here on this device and uh, the rest of the can interaction had to be done with ST libraries, ST libraries, libraries with cube MX and yeah so as uh, this is not part of Qt of microcontroller but yeah uh, works quite good it also works from the other direction so you can send a value from the um, PC that's connected to the canvas or anything else to set the speed here. So Daniel will now set the speed to 150 and the RPM to 2500. Exactly. Good. And yeah, so um, works, works good. So this is it more or less for our uh, last um, contribution here to this Qtron microcontroller comparison. Uh, as a result, I can say if you already have existing Qt code uh, that's written in the Qt framework for Windows or Linux, uh, it's really a good uh, thing to make to reuse this code um, and to migrate it on Qt for microcontroller. You can reuse uh, a large part of the code and have this solution scaled down on the microcontroller and uh, yeah, works then as well as on an other operating system. So th this was it. Thanks you very much and goodbye.